Hello dear going cons hope you all are doing well as we are going through the revision exercises today let's revise chapter number 1 relationships in a family so take out your evs textbooks and open page number 5 let's have a quick recapitulation of what we already read first what is family family represents people living together by ties of marriage blood or adoption thus representing a single household family is the basic unit of society yes now we have many types of families the two of them are joint and nuclear joint family is also known as extended family it consists of grandparents uncles aunts cousins in addition to the parents that is father and mother and their children so this is joint family then we have nuclear family it's also known as elementary family it is a family consisting of one couple that is father and mother and their children so this is nuclear family now coming to the notebook work today let's draw a venn diagram to show the difference and similarities between joint and nuclear family for proper writing kindly go through the instructions given at the beginning of the content so you will write down these points written in the roman numerals one by one on your notebook okay or loose sheets then you will draw the two circles with middle portion overlapping so this is the similar portion this is the similarity this one and these are the differences here now this is the venn diagram now let's go through through these points one by one one set of parents is a first point it will come into the nuclear circle yes more than one set of parents this will go into the joint circle love and care among members third point this is common in the both then we have fourth has more privacy where will will it go it will go into the nuclear portion because less number of um, uh, family members so more privacy in the nuclear family then fifth point is more people so more support in crisis this will go into the joint circle then sixth point respect for each other this is common to the both families so this will go into the middle portion sixth point then seventh point is more people to enjoy the life socially so this will go into the this joint circle because joint family has more number of people then eighth point makes members of family more responsible this you will write down in the nuclear family because there are less number of people so they become more responsible then ninth point and last point is helping each other this will go into the common portion because in both the families members help each other so this was all for today hope you got it well take care thank you